Hey everybody, it's Tim here. My friends asked me a question. Now that you've been working for yourself for a year, how does it feel? And should I do it? So here are some ideas about some of the things that can happen to you when you work for yourself. <laughs> to explain the backdrop, I am currently working on ooh, a customer engagement actually on site in Italy. They brought me across the world to support them with Rust. When you have customers that trust you, they really want you to be with them. And that's one of the most interesting perspectives that essentially your customers are trusting you with their product, with their future, and that is a huge privilege that I think that I didn't really expect. I work by myself, often at home. In fact, I probably spend most of my time at home working remotely or providing delivering training. To combat that, I've really found that establishing relationships, whether or not that's social or online, face-to-face -face or primarily online actually, is extremely valuable for me to sort of stay connected with the world. And the, I guess the hardest thing about, it's kind of the w working at home problem where you don't ever leave your house. <laughs> um, and you kind of become a little bit of a hermit. And I think that has been a challenge that I faced. Another thing is that obviously the financial situation is much different. You need to be prepared for big peaks and then like a couple of months of a lull. Luckily in my 15 months or so of doing this, I've never had to go back into savings. I've been profitable from day one. It's been huge. There have been dry spells. I've tried very hard to be cognizant of that as I've been going through. If you've got any tips, please share them in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you online. Take care. This is Tim Clicks. I'm on the planet to build a better planet. Thank you.